Hey everyone, welcome back to the seven day simplify your life challenge. Today is day two and yesterday's theme was reflect. Today's theme is going to be prioritize. This seven day series is meant to be a short journey to help you simplify your life and create more of what you love. And it comes with a free PDF workbook. So if you don't have the workbook already, you can find the link in the description box to download your copy. And if this is the first video in this series that you're watching, you can start from day one and I will have a link to the entire playlist in the description box as well. So today's theme is called prioritize. And of course, there are many ways that we can practice prioritizing in life and also being more in charge. But for today's exercise, I chose getting better at saying no with grace and without feeling guilty. Part of simplifying life is about being more proactive and realizing that you are in charge of what you bring into your home and into your life, be it physical items or projects, people, anything. And we can be intentional with what we say yes to and what we would prefer to say no to. We can practice this by getting in the habit of asking ourselves, will this bring me value? Because if we say no to the things that will not bring us any lasting value, we will have more time, space and opportunity to say yes to the things that matter. When your life is complicated, the word no can actually be your best friend. And I can say for sure that ever since I learned to say no more often, my life has become a lot more simple, stress-free and enjoyable. And if you're like me, you might not always find it easy to say no, but there are definitely some things that you can do to learn to be able to say it easier and do it with kindness and respect. And of course, we don't have to be a jerk about it. This is not about becoming selfish or never helping other people. It's more about becoming aware and noticing the difference between when it makes sense to say yes, either because you really want to or because you want to help the other person out, or when it just makes more sense to say no to things that really don't attribute anything to your joy or happiness. Now your workbook has a series of tips and questions and exercises to help you figure out what it is that you find challenging about saying no, if anything, and also how you can kind of reframe that and get better at it. So at this point, I recommend getting out your workbook. Again, you can choose to print it out and fill it by hand or just use your own notebook. You can also fill it out digitally in the PDF file. But I also wanna take this opportunity to share four important tips about learning to say no. The first is to try and be clear and effective in your communication. So try not to use words like maybe or I don't know, because it is very likely that if it shows that you are uncomfortable with saying no, that the situation is also going to become uncomfortable because the other person might not really get what it is that you're trying to say. So the more confident and clear you can be, the better. When in doubt, say that you will think about it and get back to them later. This was the biggest thing for me because it allows you to get some distance, take some time to think about it. And if you do want to say no, also take some time to actually practice your answer. So if you feel like someone is putting you on the spot, just say you'll think about it first and then get back to them later. Sometimes it also helps if you can come up with an alternative. So if you say no to one thing, but then you offer an alternative option for something that you know that you will enjoy more. So for example, you could say no to going to a party if you don't want to, but then offer the alternative of going out to eat with this person to catch up later sometime this week. And lastly, try not to give excuses. I always say that no can be a full sentence or maybe no thanks. <laughs> Sounds a little bit kinder, um, but you don't have to always offer up explanations for why you're saying no. It is not your job to please everyone else around you. Everyone is responsible for their own joy, their own life, their own happiness. And so are you. So try not to come up with excuses or that you feel the need that you have to explain why you're saying no. In the end, saying no in a friendly way is just a way of respecting and valuing your own time, energy and space. So if you say yes to something when you really would like to say no, it means that you are putting that other person's interests above your own. And of course, it's okay to do this occasionally, but it's all about balance. 
we need to also think about what it is that we want and how we want to take care of our own happiness. So prioritizing others over ourselves is not something that we can keep up in the long run. And really, you are not helping anyone if it means that you are spreading yourself too thin. So if you feel like you have too much on your plate and your life is very busy and hectic and complicated, saying no more often can do wonders in creating more simplicity and clarity. That's it for today. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out. And let me know in the comments about saying no. Is that easy for you? Is it difficult for you? I'd love to know. Again, all the links are to be found in the description box. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. And I'll see you tomorrow for day three of the seven day Simplify Your Life Challenge. Bye bye.